Hey champs, Benny's in for another Hall of Fame character preview at 5 star bronze. Ravishing Rick Rude. Let's take a look at his card. So he's a coach. So at 12k. So 4 star silver. Yellow moves deals 25% more damage. I think it's 4 silver or 4 gold. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Yellow moves deals... 25% more damage. Links, the Hall of Fame link, any color moves, starts with four more move points. Gears, only one set of gear. So let's take a look at the first build. We have the Snap Suplex, deals 37,312 damage and modifies a 7x7 random area into trap gems. It's not random, it's the entire board. If broken by your opponent, deals 10,481 damage to that opponent. If broken by you, deals 0 damage and destroys 2 random column break gems. The DDT, 1 MP charge, so every single turn, deals 16,835 damage and chooses a 2x4 area to make it to row break gems. And the bear hug, the submission, place 8 submission gems and do 10,481 damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into column break gems. So let's take a look at the entourage. We have Bray Wyatt Trickster, green submission moves last 3 more turns and the green MP trainer, George the Animal Steel. Coaches only Bruno Sammartino, green submission moves to 35%, more damage per turn. So Rick Rude here against Jimmy Uso, the Usos, at 5 star bronze. So my snap suplex is ready, but I'm going to wait for the submission. So I'm going to go with the DDT here. Okay, so now my snap suplex and my submission, the bear hug, are ready. So let's go with the snap suplex here. This will put 7x7, seven seven, so 49 trap gems on the board. Then I'm going to go with the submission here, the bear hug. So every time that he's going to destroy one of those trap gems, that's 10,000 plus. And uh, every turn of that submission is 14,000 plus. So it's about, it's around uh, 25,000 each turn for 8 turns. He's down to 266,000 health points. Let's go now with a DDT again. This is a 2x4 into row break jams. Beautiful. Again, all three moves are ready for Rick Rude. I'm gonna go again with the snap suplex. The submission. I'm just gonna put four submission gems on the board, not eight. Should be enough. And here we go. 
Wow. Seriously. Rick Rude. Simply ravishing. So let's take a look at a second build. I still have the snap suplex and the bear hug submission. And this time I'm using the backbreaker instead of the DDT. Deals 46,125 damage and chooses 5 gems to make it to green gems. Entourage for this one, Trickster, Bray Wyatt, Green Submission moves last 3 more turns. The purple MP Trainer, Xavier Woods, Bruno San Martino, Green Submission moves do 35% more damage per turns. And the VIP DX Shawn Michaels at 9k, matching purple gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. So Rick Rude this time against who's next? Goldberg. So I have my purple match turn one. He gets his red. His yellow here is ready next turn. Choose chooses 10 gems to make into red. I'm gonna try to reload my greens, so I need five. I don't want to create any cascados here. Oh, come on. Seriously. This is not what I wanted. One fifty seven. Okay, so my snap suplex is ready. Let's put those trap gems on the board. Then go with the submission. Eight turns, eight submission gems on the board. Kick out. So basically now I can like also break some trap gems and this will break two random column break gems. Beautiful. All three moves are ready to, to hit again. That's it again. Trap gems, snap suplex. It's a mission, and it's all over for Goldberg. I guess he's next. So let's take a look at a third build for Rick Rude. We have the finisher for the first time, the Rude Awakening. Deals 66,471 damage and chooses 6 gems to destroy. The Pointed Elbow Drop deals 41,850 damage and chooses 6 purple gems to destroy. And the DDT deals 16,835 damage and chooses a 2x4 area to make into row break gems. Entourage for this one, 
I have the red MP trainer, the icon Sting, and Jimmy Uso. Purple moves that destroy gems will destroy three more gems. So basically the Root Awakening now deals 66,000 plus damage and chooses 9 gems to destroy. And coaches, I have only Mr. VIP Shawn Michaels DX matching purple gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. And this is at 9k. So here Rick Rude against Hollywood. Hulk Hogan, it's not gonna be an easy one. Let's take a look how Root. Let's take a look if Root can handle Hollywood Hogan. So let's destroy six purple gems here. And then I'm going to go with the DDT. So the finisher is ready next turn. I'm going to go again with the DDT first. And then the finisher, the Rude Awakening. And I'm gonna choose nine gems to destroy. My, both my red moves are, are ready to hit again. So let's go first with a pointed elbow drop. My finish is ready. Thanks to uh, VIP DX Shawn Michaels also. I'm going to go with the DDT first. Then the finisher, the Rude Awakening. Again, both my red moves are ready to hit. So the low blow here from Hogan is ready also and the, the pin bar is not moving so I have to finish Hogan right now. So let's go with a pointed elbow drop again. There's enough purple gems on the board. But this time the finisher is not ready. I like the board, I really like the board, I think I can finish Hogan right now with the DDT. Here we go! It's all over for Hollywood! Rick Rude Hall of Fame! So that's it champs for this character preview 
of Hall of Fame Ravishing Rick Rude. If you enjoyed, please give a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Until next time, Benny's out.